Hello students, today I'm going to show you how to create your digital interactive notebook so that you can see all of your pages together. It's important that you leave your work both on the assignment page itself so I can see what is complete, but I also want you to be able to see your notebook as one notebook for the unit. In order to do this, I'm going to give you several steps to follow along and we will do it more than once so that you can see the pattern. The first thing I'll need you to do is go back to week one I have put a J in front of uh, any of our lessons that had a journal page attached. This should make it easier for you to find each of your digital interactive notebook uh, journal pages. So your first one should be Thursday of our first week, if you open that up. And again, my pages will look different than yours, but you should, again, have this assignment. And over here to the right, we should have your um, cover of your journal on the first pages we had you complete here to the right where you can attach it to the assignment. If you have submitted it, you will need to unsubmit it so that you can make a copy of it, but that's um, where you need to start. So we're going to open up again. Mine will look slightly different than yours because it's not attached under the assignment. I have too many images. It's going to take a second. Okay, so this was my cover and my first pages that I completed. <clears throat> my suggestion so that this is easy to find is that you're going to come up here to um, the address line. Over to the right, there is a blue, or it's clear star at this point. You need to fill it in as a blue star. Make sure that this folder says bookmarks bar, and you're going to say done. That should attach your digital notebook here to your bookmarks bar, okay? If you have a lot of bookmarks, you may have to move it up so that you can see it, but most of you uh, should be able to see it easily. Mine's here. So if I click on this button, it's gonna pull this up and I won't have to continue to go back to the assignment to find my digital notebook. So that's your first step. After you've completed that step, we're gonna go back to our classwork we're done with week one. Now we're going to move up to week two. Again, you can see where I've placed a J in front of each of the assignments. Sorry, it's my cat Luna. <laughs> in front of each of my assignments that had journal pages attached. So I'm going to open up this first one on Monday. View assignment again. It's important to always open that up in that manner. Again, your assignment should be attached here. Make sure it's not submitted. If it is unsubmit, open up your article analysis, student copy, should have your name on it. Again, once the work has been completed here in the assignment portion, then you're going to make a copy of this and you're going to go back to your digital notebook and you're going to add this in as your third page in your digital notebook. I would just say keep original styles. It doesn't have to match the whole presentation. Okay, now back to our classroom. Again, we're going to repeat this process a couple more times on Tuesday of last week. Again, view assignment. Make sure that you have your cell theory interactive notebook pages attached here to the right, that they're not submitted. Make sure that they are complete. And you want to be able to see the work here under the assignment. Once you know your work is complete here, then you're going to right click, copy, and go back here to your to the bookmark or if you've left it open to your notebook. And we're going to attach this now as our fourth page in our journal. Keep original styles. I don't need either of these open now. Come back here to our classroom, classwork. We'll repeat the passage two more times. I think you get the idea to make sure that you have that done for Wednesday as well as Thursday. And then this week as you do your work, complete it, and then attach it to your journal. I hope this helps. Thanks.